Hello everyone, welcome to another video. Now I've been kindly invited by Gridfinder to take part in the IMSA Time Attack Challenge. Now this Time Attack is over six rounds and it follows the IMSA Endurance Series. Now this Time Attack competition is completely free to enter, but you can win prizes. So obviously you win prizes for being up the top end of the championship, but you win prizes just by taking part and turning laps. So prizes range from iRacing credits to traction.gg gloves, IMSA prize packs, including exclusive IMSA merchandise, and also VIP day experiences at the track. So every round, the laps you do get entered into a draw. So obviously, the more laps you do, the more chance you have of winning. So to find the time attack, go onto your iRacing UI, go down to single player time attack, and then in the top left, you will see it there. If you don't find it there, just type in there, Grid Finder Time Attack, and it will appear. Click on that, and then you've got all the information about the Time Attack. To sign up, all you need to do is click over to the top right and click Visit Sponsor. That will then open up a web page where you can register for Grid Finder. Just create your account. Really straightforward. And when you've done that, all you need to do is link your iRacing account with Gridfinder and then just hit the track. You can find all the information on the iRacing UI, but it's also on the Gridfinder website. So here we are, round two. You can see there are 37 drivers registered. But round two ends tomorrow. So I've been on and turned some laps this morning, managed to get in 23 laps. And we did a 1 minute 46.084, which is good enough for P7. But bear in mind, I was using the iRacing high downforce setup. This is open setup. So if you've got a setup for the IMSA series, well, you'd probably go a lot quicker than I did. But as you can see there, a 146 flat, well, that's kind of competitive. And I was using an iRacing setup. So I'll show you my lap now, just to give you some pointers. If you did want to jump on this today, get a few laps in, get yourself in the pot for the draw. And it might give you some ideas of what to do or probably what not to do. So that's what we're going to be doing for the next few weeks, the Grid Finder IMSA Time Attack. But the good thing is, this Time Attack mirrors the iRacing Endurance Series. So if you wanted to practice in advance, well, you go onto the official series on the iRacing UI, scroll all the way to the bottom, and you will see the IMSA Endurance Series. Click that, and then if you click on Schedule at the top, it will tell you where we're going to be. And if you did want to practice, for example, if I wanted to practice for the next one at the Canadian Tire Motorsports Park, 
I just click on drive now and click on test drive. Then just pick your car. But the next time attack we're going to be doing is in the GT3s. So don't practice in the hypercar or the LMP2. So get registered, get on track. I had an absolute blast doing a time attack last season on iRacing. You get that competitive racing element without the stress of the four X's. So if you want to know more, head over to gridfinder.com forward slash IMSA. I will leave a link down below in the description. So if any of you sign up and beat me, let me know down below in the comments. And remember, the more laps you do, the more chance you have of winning. And who doesn't like free stuff? So all the links to the event will be down below in the description. As always, thanks for watching. Have a great week. See you later. Cheers.